Do you understand how long I've been waiting for this lava lamp to heat up? Welcome to another exciting episode of Trip to the Thrift. I have to admit, this one's a little bit last minute, a little bit improvised, just because I saw a recurring theme going on with these. They're basically all t-shirts. For the past week and a half, all I've copped is t-shirts. Involuntarily, by the way, I've been looking for all sorts of stuff, and all I could manage to get is t-shirts, which is absolutely fine. Fun little fact, my favorite thing to thrift of all time is t-shirts. If you like what I do here and you wanna support me, the best way to do that is to press that little subscribe button, and if you wanna get notified when I upload a new video, press the little bell icon as well. So without further ado, Let's jump into these items. Tommy Hilfiger knitted vest. Wear this on a golf course. You've got the nice little Tommy Hilfiger crest that you can't see that I am miles away. Quick close up for them. It's looking very, very nice. It's a size large, so baggy boys for life. I don't know if, how this would actually fit because these armholes are massive. Let's just try it on. Big man, I am ready to meet the parents. Show them that I am a man of class. So the Tommy Hilfiger vest, enough of that. Let's move on to the next one. Next item that I managed to pick up that wasn't a t-shirt was this vintage Umbro sweatshirt. It's navy, like 99% of all Umbro products that I pick up. Small Umbro logo at the front there. That's pretty much it. Moving on to the next one. Vintage Reebok. I have to admit my eyes lit up when I saw this in the charity shop. Central Reebok graphic, it's embroidered as well. Massive points. And it's not a size small for once. It says it's a size large. I don't know if I actually believe that. It's more of a medium, I would say. Although this would bang a boxy fit, to be fair. It's an absolute madness. Here's a quick close up of the front. There it is. Logos for days. Boom. Hold tight, the Reebok sweater. And for the last item of the day that is not a t-shirt, is this long as check plaid, whatever you wanna call it shirt. This one's a size XXL, so if you want the maximum baggy boys fit, then this is the shirt for you. Honestly, you could probably make two small shirts out of this shirt, it's so sick. Let me just put it on for reference, just because this might be a ting. You know what, yeah? I'm looking at myself in the camera, and this doesn't actually look that bad, I mean, centralize this logo a little bit okay okay yeah 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 that could run that could run how to style checkered shirts coming very very soon okay so with all of that out the way the rest of these shirts are going to be pretty much all vintage t-shirts and there is a lot to go through zoo york t-shirt look at that graphic sick skull and crossbones but it's got what some kind of map in the graphic there Quick close up so you can make up your mind. Really sick graphic, it just reminds me of like the mid 2000s. Moving on to the next one, Route 66 memorabilia t-shirt. What does that say? Las Vegas, mad. Souvenir t-shirt for them, look at that, looking very, very sick. Rep this t-shirt so you don't have to go to Las Vegas yourself, mad. Next up, we've got some Victoria Bitter. Another beer t-shirt, you can't get enough of the beer t-shirts. Quick close up for them, look at that logo. Wear this t-shirt outside your local pub and have 50 year old men salivating. That's exactly what you want in a t-shirt. Moving on to the next one. Grand Canyon t-shirt, easily one of my favorite t-shirts of the day. Very, very sick design, just look at it. Bonus points for it being embroidered. It says it's 90.99 as well, it's just so sick. Quick close up for them. This is an unbeatable souvenir t-shirt. I've highly considered keeping it for myself, but needs must, big man. This is my full-time job now. Florida t-shirt. Just look how sick this looks. You've got a dolphin at the front, Florida and big bold letters. I personally really like this shirt a lot. I think souvenir shirts are definitely slept on. Quick close up for them. Those dolphins are majestic AF. Moving on to the next one. Grand Prix Monaco. Formula One cars in a racetrack, super sick. Quick close up for them. Look at all of them cars. But wait, do you notice that yellow one on the side there? That's a Benson and Hedges Jordan. How do I know that? Well, let me show you how I know that. Because it's on this t-shirt that I'm showing you now. Benson and Hedges Jordan. For those who don't know, Benson and Hedges are a cigarette company. Cigarette companies aren't allowed to advertise, so this shirt is banned. Cannot buy this shirt anymore. Cannot buy any shirt like it anymore. It's so sick. Cigarette brand merch, you hardly find that anymore. Quick close up for them. Tiny logo of the Benson and Hedges B. Straps at the front, straps at the back. Hold tight this shirt. Moving on to the next one. Russell Athletics t-shirt. Look at that Academy font. Moving on to the next one. Nike Oregon t-shirt. Next one. Levi t-shirt. 
Carhartt t-shirt. Little bit of cracking. Check out the front there. Boom. I'd still wear that. My favourite Carhartt t-shirt in this entire haul. Big Carhartt logo and it's got a little asterisk there. But what does it say at the bottom there, big man? Well, I'll tell you. Carhartt Inc. is a US-based clothing company founded in 1889. It is a family-owned company owned by the descendants of company founder Hamilton Carhartt with its headquarters in Dearborn, Michigan. Mad. Quick close-up. This is the t-shirt that teaches you absolute madness next one pink cap art t-shirt look look at his side trims sick quick close-up subtle kappa logo on the front there look at the sides I have to show those sides off again let me show you a close-up of the sides sick boom open the t-shirt that's too overexposed what about here oh yeah not too bad over here next one gosha robchinski t-shirt i did actually find this in the charity shop someone must have been super mad about the controversy but here it is in a neon yellow or neon green whatever you want to call it quick close-up you can just about make out the graphic on the front there and that's basically all this is it's a size extra large as well so baggy boys this will also be on the depot page hollywood california t-shirt Quick close up, look how sick that is. Embroidered as well, souvenir t-shirt. Next one, Australia Down Under t-shirt. Artificial cracking, it's part of the style, it's part of the effect. Hold tight that, Algarve Portugal shirt. This trip to the thrift has traveled the world, big man. I've just realized the amount of places these t-shirts have been. It's amazing, look at that really nice detail. Algarve Portugal, I may have actually been to the Algarve once, I'm not entirely sure. Super nice design, I actually really like it. Moving on to the next one. What do you know about the pink Panther, my guy. Quick close up. There he is, looking all smug in that. Very cool. Vans t shirt, a Cyberdog t shirt. Now, this is a really interesting find. Cyberdog does really wavy, rave inspired graphics. That was hard to say. Hold tight the wave, hold tight the rave, hold tight this t shirt. Vintage Ibiza t shirt. Quick close up. Look how simple it is, but look how early 2000s this must have been. That sleek design. I just love souvenir t-shirts. I think they're super slept on. World Cup Brazil t-shirt with tags still included. 2014. I just think this looks really cool. Especially during football season. This is a must-have t-shirt, big man. Trust me. Quick class up again for them. And that's pretty much it. T-shirt with a tiger on it because I impulse buy at the charity shops. But here it is, look how cool that is. Don't you just want to wear this? I bet you do, big man. Vintage Jamaica t-shirt. Now this one I really like. It's loud, it's in your face, it's yellow, it's got all sorts of stuff going on. Quick close up, there it is. Reggae, Jamaica, big man things for sure. My second favorite t-shirt in this haul is this Panda t-shirt. I'm pretty sure this is the logo for a rice company, but I'm not 100% on that. Oh, big man, it might be a souvenir t-shirt for Beijing. Quick close up for them. Look at those pandas. Show your support for pandas by buying this t-shirt if I don't keep it because they're pandas, man. And last, but definitely not least, is by far the best t-shirt I have ever picked up because it's in its original packaging, big man. How old is this? Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to take it out of the bag. But before we do, I just wanna show you what's on the front here. It's the Dublin pub crawl. And it's got like a nice little map of Dublin with all the pubs all marked out. On the other side there, you can see a couple more pubs and like all of the names of the pubs right here. I wanna take this out carefully. I just love finding stuff in its original packaging, but we have to know, we have to know what it looks like, you know? The Dublin pub crawl. Okay guys, this is epic. This looks like such an old t-shirt. I'm trying to find something with a date on it. I can't really find anything. Quick close up of this absolute gem. There it is, the Dublin pub crawl. There's a little map of all the towns all nice and drawn out and at the bottom there, You've got all of the names of the pubs. I am a really big fan of this shirt. It is definitely one of my favorite finds of all time, but I digress. That was the last t-shirt of the day. Hey, the lava lamp started to work. So you all know the standard procedure. The trip to the thrift videos are normally just a 10 minute Depop advertisement, but I will say this. I did drop a bunch of clothes, which I didn't make a video for. I'm gonna pop them up on the screen now, just so you can see what's available. There is lots and lots and lots of items on the Depop page at the moment at Rooks and Rivals. I'm always adjusting the prices, so grab yourself a bargain today. Oh fam, I am a maximum salesman at the moment. And also, if you want to show off any charity shop finds or any thrifts, then follow Thrift Finds UK and use their hashtag for a chance to get featured on their page. I follow this page myself and I just find it really motivating to see people's thrift finds. So if you're looking for that motivation or you just want to see some cool finds, then check out Thrift Finds UK. Let me know in the comment section which one of these thrift 
Hollywood fans was your favourite. Let me know what you've been thrifting recently. If you like what I do here and you want to support me, then press the little subscribe button. Press the little bell icon as well if you want to get notified of when I upload next. I have to put all of these clothes away. The lava lamp is really distracting me in the camera. So that's where we're going to end it. Bye.